So I picked up an inflatable hot tub for free from Facebook Marketplace, and the reason why it was free is because the pump doesn't work. And sure enough, I tried it when I got home, and when you press the button, it doesn't start the pump, and eventually you get this E02 error code. So, what's an E02? If you Google it, you'll see something like this. Uh, basically, it means that there's not a lot of water flow through the unit, or maybe no flow at all. So, because I didn't even hear the pump running when I turned it on, I'm going to assume that there's something wrong with the pump. So, let's take a look at it. Remove the filter and cover the water inlet and outlet tubes with the small black caps that should have come with your hot tub. That way, you won't have to drain the hot tub when you remove the pump. Disconnect the pump. You access the pump through the bottom of the unit, so you'll need something to hold it upside down while you work on it. I used a 5 gallon bucket. Remove these four screws. Remove the bottom cover. Remove the two screws holding the pump in. An extra long screwdriver will make this easier. Now you can pull the pump out. Remove all the nuts and bolts that are holding the pump together. I placed a bowl under the pump just in case I drop something. Now you can take the pump apart. As soon as I removed the impeller, I saw what the problem was. It seems that the impeller shaft has worn out and has broken into three pieces, so I need to order a replacement part. I did some googling and I found that this is the replacement part that I need. Notice that the description doesn't say that it's for a hot tub pump, but if you look at the reviews, you will see that others have had success using it for just this purpose. So I will order this part. But I want to use my hot tub today. Is there anything I have around the house that I could use as a temporary shaft? How about a bamboo skewer? It seems to be about the right diameter. Let's try it. Cut the skewer to the same length as the broken shaft. Well, it's a little noisy, but it works. It'll do until I get my replacement part. It's been a few weeks and my replacement impeller finally showed up. I also ordered this set of replacement rubber parts. I figured as long as I have it open I might as well replace those too. Remove this o-ring and replace it with a new one. The new impeller has these little black caps on each end of the shaft so you'll need to remove the old ones from your pump. A 
insert the new impeller and put both halves of the pump back together. Remove these two O-rings and replace them with the new parts. Insert the pump into the hole. Replace the two screws that hold the pump in. Put the bottom cover back on and insert all four screws. After hooking everything back up, I'll turn it on and see what happens. Ah, nice and quiet. Just how it should be.